Good morning. It's Miami. It's about 9 a.m. We're going to get into the bottom bracket this morning and clean the bearings out. Um, first, re let's remove the pedals. The right side pedal is a right, uh, right hand thread, so we use a 15 millimeter wrench. Uh, I've already broken it loose. This is a, a cone and cup bearing wrench. You wouldn't use it for heavy duty work, but I already broke this loose. So uh, no, no harm in using the skinny wrench for this sort of work. We want to get the pedals off and the chain off. I'll remove the other pedal. Now the other pedal will be left hand thread. The left hand side is left hand thread. So I would be turning it the opposite way to unscrew it than what I'm doing here. All right. This is the way all bicycle pedals are mounted. That way they self tighten when a, pedal, when a fellow is riding. Now to get the chain off. This is a single speed chain. It happens to be slack enough that I can I can feed it off. So there we go. Turn the camera off and let's let's take that other pedal off and then let's turn the bike around and open the bottom bracket and see what's inside. Okay, both pedals are off now. And I learned from Alberto at Coral Way Bicycle Shop that this nut is a left-hand thread. So that means to loosen it, you turn the nut the opposite way that you would normally turn a nut. In order to loosen it, you turn it this way. I've already broken it loose with, with, with that. Actually, Alberto broke it loose for me yesterday. When I was previously trying to get it apart, I was using this big wrench and I was going, Arr, Arr which is only making it tighter. So let's go ahead and I'm doing this for the first time. I, I did this once before on my old Curry bike, but I don't believe it had a left hand thread. So these things may be variable. Now the, I know that's out of camera range, but there's the, the nut, we'll just put that on the ground. Now what remains will be a, uh, I'm learning with you. This is my a keyed washer. Keyed in the sense that it has a little tang so that it can't spin. Then this thing here is probably threaded. This is, the, this is the cone. We're going to unscrew it. Ah, but the cone is a, yeah, same thing, left hand thread. So to unscrew it, we turn it backwards of the usual way. Let's just unscrew it backwards. And I'm gonna hold this, uh, I don't know whether there's caged bearings or loose bearings in there. So bear with me, I'll probably edit out this unscrewing part. While there's a tool, a spanner tool, for turning this, you know, if you uh, need needed help, you just make a drift, that is a punch out of soft metal, aluminum or brass, and tap, tap, tap. Because not all bicycles are new and lubricated. This stuff gets pretty cruddy. <clears throat> so, almost done with this. Anyway, this is the old-fashioned type of bottom bracket and a one-piece forged crank. It's heavy, but it's rock solid. It's the strongest type, type of crank. It would never fatigue and break on you like sometimes aluminum cranks are known to do for riders who stand on the pedals. And am I gonna get this the rest of the way with, with my mere fingernails? Yes, I am. Oh, oh, it's a caged bearing. Okay, here comes the cone. <clears throat> Looks pretty clean to me, but microscopically speaking, this stuff is not clean. Let me pause the camera and take a, a still picture. But there you see, there's the cone and inside is a caged bearing. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the grease you see here is rather gray. That's an unusual color for grease. Maybe that's the way it was made, but gray is also the grease, the color of <coughs> grease when it has become dirty with metal particles. <coughs> the wearing in process produces metal particles that make the grease gray. Here we come. Here we go. I'm going to lay this out of sight that we would, with my ungreasy fingers, zoom out a bit. 
so you can see a little more of the action, what we're going to do. Okay, now out comes the first of one pair of, of uh, caged bearings. Okay, and you see that, you see which way it faces. They call it caged because the loose balls are separated and run. This is just exactly the way they were making bearings 100 years ago. We're going to microscopically clean these. <clears throat> First, I'll use mechanics hand cleaner and hot soapy water, and then I will uh, put them in the ultrasonic cleaner with some household ammonia. Get them, oh, the balls look to be in perfect, not quite perfect condition. Why? There's, there's some pitting on this is So this, even after this is cleaned and adjusted, there will be some bearing noise, but, but this is, like I say, not first quality bicycle manufacturing. This ball, for instance, I'm going to get a close-up shot at it right now with the still camera.